one thing I hear often from my clients is they didn't read me my rights. Let's talk about what those rights are, when they have to read them to you, and what to do when questioned by the police. all the time on TV shows as police are placing someone under arrest and they're leading them away in handcuffs that they're reading them their rights. That's not how it happens in real life. The police don't have to read you your rights just because they're placing you under arrest. These rights, they're called the Miranda rights and they only apply to custodial interrogation. What is that? What does that mean? Custodial interrogation means that you're in custody and you're being questioned or interrogated by the police. And custody doesn't necessarily mean that you're in handcuffs or you're under arrest. If a reasonable person would not feel that they're free to leave, then the law considers you in custody. Interrogation means that you're being questioned by the police or being asked questions that may lead to you saying something that could incriminate yourself. I don't mean basic questions like, what is your name? I'm talking about questions like, what happened? What are you doing there? What are you doing here? These kind of questions are where Miranda rights apply. The basic Miranda rights are you have a right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to speak to an attorney and to have an attorney present during any questioning. If you can't afford an attorney, one will be provided to you. The Miranda rights are basically your Fifth and Sixth Amendment rights combined. The Fifth Amendment right to remain silent and not incriminate yourself and the Sixth Amendment right to have an attorney. Speaking to the police is never a good idea when you're a suspect. If the police have enough to arrest you, they're going to arrest you. Speaking to them is not going to help you in any way. It's only going to help the police corroborate whatever evidence that they feel that they already have against you. People watch TV and think that they can outsmart the police. That doesn't happen as often as people think. I've seen one too many times where all it takes is a cigarette and some food to get someone to confess and land them in prison for the rest of their lives. Another myth that I see constantly getting pushed by television shows is that the police can't lie to you. This is not the case. The U.S. Supreme Court has held that the police can lie. The only limitations in them lying is that they can't use psychological ploys, which under the totality of circumstances are so coercive that they can lead to statements that are both involuntary and unreliable. And looking at the totality of circumstances, courts will look at things like the age of the suspect, the mental health, length of interrogation by the police, or other conduct of the police to determine whether the statement given by a defendant is involuntary or unreliable. Some of the most common lies that I've seen the police use in interrogation are telling you that they have your fingerprint or they found your DNA at the scene when in fact they never did. Now, speaking of DNA, the police don't have to ask you nicely for your DNA test. Remember when we talked about cigarettes and food? The police can actually get your DNA off your cigarette or a drink and use that DNA against you. Another lie is claiming that your co-defendant or your friend already confessed to the crime and you might as well go ahead and tell us what happened. They can lie to you and tell you that your friend confessed when your friend never in fact did. These are just some of the many lies that the police can tell you to try to get you to give a statement that could incriminate yourself. Don't fall for it. Exercise your right to an attorney and your right to remain silent. So if you're in police custody, you should remain silent. The only thing you should be telling the police is that you want to talk to your lawyer and then contact the foster law firm. Remain silent and let us do your talking for you. I'm attorney Chinway Foster with the Foster Law Firm, where we specialize in aggressive and effective representation. You can reach us at 404-525-3082 or visit us at www.fosterlawga.com.